Okay, so we've got everything looking good now. We've got the handles back on. We've put some polish on, finally sealed it. Now we've got this beautiful looking Biora. The oak's really standing out. We've got that original polish really humming and shining. So the last very bit now for you to do is just to add a bit of wax into the right places, which I'll show you now, into the handles and into the corners of the feet. And uh, I'll show you a real quick method first of how to uh, clean that bit of leather up. The first thing we're going to do is put some oil on. Then the next thing we're going to do is just put a bit of French polish on. when that dries we'll just put a little bit of wax on there, some dark wax and that will just revive that leather and make it look, look a treat. So final thing to do now, just got to give it a quick wax, dull down that shine. You'll see me putting it into the corners and the feet and around the locks as you've just seen, a little bit inside, leave it to just rest for, for five minutes, it'll slightly go off, it'll go dull and then you can buff it with cloth or some fine wool depending on how high you want the shine. had a real good buff now and uh, what, what I've basically done is just rub the mat with the wax into the areas where I must like to see it if I'm looking at a real high class antique so I expect to see some build up around the handles and into the corners of the feet and the moulding inside in the corners of the drawers and then I like to see a buff shine as I'm walking around the piece because obviously it just wants to look like it's come out of a stately home and it's been in there for years and it's been very well maintained and cared for. So, you know, with them simple steps we've done today, I'm out of breath, um, we have got something that looks real genuine polished antique. We've used the core of the actual polish which was on there. We've added to that and we've buffed it and so I'll show you around it now. Let's go. 